What are your thoughts on mowing pastures? Isn't it bad to leave grass clippings behind when mowing, especially if the horses go back in the pasture right away and eat them? Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, this was really interesting because the day this came in, um, our pastures got mowed. So I was like, oh, I, I don't know. <laughs> what should I do? Quick, look at that. So um, what I found was grass or lawn clippings mm -hmm. are much different than pasture mowing. Okay. Because if you think about the machine you use to mow your lawn mm -hmm. versus the machine you use to mow your pasture, they produce very different leavings. I mean, we call them clippings because they're very, very short in a lawn, like an inch. And the pasture can be inches, it's mm -hmm. long stem. Mm -hmm. So that's one problem, one difference. I'll tell you my bottom line first and we'll come back and talk about it more, but you should not feed grass or lawn clippings, but it's okay to leave horses in pasture generally when you, you, they're used to it, you're mowing their pasture and you're leaving it in the rows to dry. Mm -hmm. If you have a horse that is um, prone to colic or laminitis or you're worried, then you know what? Mow them, take them off for the day, put them back on. Because, but once those um, trimmings are dried in the pasture, they're essentially hay, mm -hmm. right? That's how you make hay, you cut grass. It, but it's in the lawn when it's so much shorter and we tend to put it in bags mm -hmm. so we condense it. We tend to pile it or clump it. Um, all those things make it unsafe because um, it's too wet. Mm -hmm. If you put your hand in there, you feel how hot it is, right? It's already starting to ferment. So imagine the fermentation that's going on in your horse's digestive tract if mm -hmm. you feed that. And they eat them super fast because they don't have to mosey. They don't have to select. They don't have to tear. They just have to hoover. And so they get all that really short, dense, and, and long clippings are really high, excessively high in the simple sugars, mm. in the carbohydrates that are the, the bad kind. Um, it's like eating bread at a restaurant. Oh. You know, it comes first, it comes early, and you gobble all those rolls down. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's what it's like. But then it's warm in the middle when you put your hand in, just like you're saying. Warm in the middle, you know. So, no on the lawn clippings. Yes on the on the pasture. Um, and, and there's there's even more stuff. There's there's uh, mold can happen mm -hmm. that the grass clippings, the lawn clippings get uh, too much moisture. Um, they in certain parts of the country that have um, botulism that can form because it's a perfect environment. Uh, horses that eat too fast, eat those clippings, those short clippings too fast, can choke. Mm -hmm. Um, and, and one of the main reasons that a lot of experts don't recommend grass or lawn clippings is that the risk of, oh, I'm going to also trim my bushes or trim this ornamental or whatever. And many ornamentals that are just fine and beautiful for yards are deadly to mm -hmm. horses. So you got to watch your neighbors too, not just you. Um, for that reason, experts just say, you know what, let's just hand hold, hold hands and agree we're not going to feed lawn clippings in any lawn waste two horses because it's just so unsafe to yeah. bundle up and say, here you go, it's just not a good practice. Yeah. But mowing the pasture, generally speaking, generally, if your horse is used yeah. to it. Now be. mine still follows the brush hog and hoovers it up. So when we mow pastures, I do have to take mine out because he's like, loose grass. <laughs> um, and yeah, the work is already done. The work is done. And so that I don't, I don't want him eating that much wet grass that quickly so I do remove him. Well especially because you said you know it depends on the individual horse and mm -hmm. if you're concerned and in your case you're concerned because of his behavior mm -hmm. but also Sweet Newman has a history of colic right? and said so something that you're particularly yeah. sensitive to. Yeah. Now he wears a grazing muzzle so it might be harder for him to pick it up but knowing him I think he's found a way yeah, he's got to, a to do it. He's got a technique so I, I just don't trust him and I, <coughs> I pull him. 